Morning rules today is Monday, December 19, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Quote for today is, when you have a dream, you gotta grab it and never let go. Updates are Spirit Week is coming next week for Tigre 8. More details to come. Lunch menu for today is grilled cheese sandwich and extreme bean and cheese burrito. Today's lunch menu is spicy chicken burger, extreme bean and cheese burrito, and chef choice. Good morning! Happy Monday, December 19th. Is it the 19th? It is! December 19th, 2022, the last Monday of the 2022 calendar year that you will be a student of SMA. That's right. Our vacation uh, winter break is on the horizon. Three more days. Well, two if you don't count today. Just a couple of things I wanted to share with you. Walk in my shoes is back. Uh, Mr. We will have the following students visit visited this week if we haven't visited you already. Marlene Hidalgo Abarca, Anthony Morales Jackson, Salome Peña Martinez, and Jonathan Chavez. You are the students that we will be walking in your shoes. What does that mean? It means that the administration will hang out with you for as long as possible, up to an hour. And basically, we are there to help you in whatever you're doing during that time. If you're in science, we will help you in science. If you're in math, we will help you in math. I might be learning right along with you, but we are committed to walking in your shoes for that hour. Once again, Marlene Hidalgo Abarca, Anthony Morales Jackson, Salome Peña Martinez, and Jonathan Chavez. You are this week's Walk In My Shoes students. We are very happy to announce that when you return, we will have a PE clothes distribution free for all of you in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Second semester, it's a time to press restart on some of the things that have not been as successful as they can be. One of those, our students dressing for PE. It is time for us to take full advantage of our physical education time. And part of that is dressing for PE. You will have a choice between sweats, shorts, long sleeve, short sleeve, and a sweatshirt, sweatshirt without any pockets. Also, we are going to try something out starting today. We will be opening up the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade gates very early for you to come into campus and wait for the bell to ring for those of you who are arriving early. There is one rule, and that rule should carry out throughout the entire days day. No bad words. It's very simple. No bad words. This is a learning institution. This is a school environment and the same language that the adults are able and allowed to use is the exact same language that you are allowed to use. All those bad words are not foreign to us as adults. As a matter of fact, some of us may even use those words outside of the workplace. But here, it is not professional. It is absolutely not supported, and it's something that us as adults would get in a lot of trouble for using. So why would we allow that language be used by our students? No bad words at SMA. It's simple, it's easy to remember, and it's a great tool for you to know what register to use depending on where you're at. What's register? the words that come out of your mouth. You have different registers, different language and words that you use depending on where you're at and who you are with. 
Your register when you're at home might be very different than your register when you're here at school. Your register when you're walking home with your friends or your peers would be different than your register when you're here in my office talking to me. No bad words at SMA. A very simple rule to remember. Once again, we'll be opening up the gates at 7.30 in the morning. Starting today, for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students, you'll be allowed to wait for the bell to ring um, in the quad only. Only the quad will be open. You don't need to be here at 7.30, that's way too early. But we really want to clear the way for our TK5 young uh, wolves, our little wolves, uh, because we've been hearing a lot of foul language and we just need to separate and help those students start their day feeling safe, feeling empowered, and our parents feeling safe and feeling empowered. Okay, so want to clear the way to make it safer for our TK5 students to get to their um, part of campus. All right, so speaking of little wolves and big wolves, did you know that 525 of you have either a brother or a sister that attend SMA? That's right, 525 of you, I believe. I have to look at the exact number, but more than 50% of you have a younger brother or a younger sister that attends SMA or an older sister and an older brother that attends SMA. That's really great information to know. Remember, your family is here. You want this campus to be safe for your family, for your siblings. So we're gonna start showcasing those families and have some of our little wolves send some message to our big wolves. We are also going to start a reading program to have the big wolves read with the little wolves. Very excited in connecting, connecting our school and starting with families. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful week. I am so excited. This is my last recording uh, for this week. So I wanna wish you an amazing winter break. I wanna wish you the best of memories during this time. I will see you in 2023 here on this video. And I hope to say bye to most of you in person before we begin our winter break. Be safe, have fun, be healthy, and we will see you here. I will see you here during these announcements in 2023. Pause up.